And yes, uh, as most of you would be aware, but to get it out there, we've had a baby boy, Boaz Daniel Hutchison, and uh, he's, he's doing well. Yeah, there, there we go. There he is in shot. He's, um, he's definitely a hungry boy, so he's, d he's doing well. And um, of course, the name um, being from Ruth, uh, about redeeming, but also swift and strong is, is what Boaz means. And we've been amazed how well he's been able to hold up his head. So he's definitely got a bit of strength there. Uh, but before, yeah, before I went on, on leave, I had the, um, the honour of, of listening to different stories um, of, of what God's doing, um, particularly a after the calling lab, and uh, what God was laying on people's hearts. And uh, I felt, it, yeah, it's right for, for me to, to share what God's doing uh, with us as a family and, uh, yeah, to encourage others to be sharing um, what God's doing through citywide stories. And I think for some that um, may... I've shared a few times my, my testimony, but I've always felt um, when I first took that step of obedience and, and when I was getting baptised, God always was calling me out. He was always challenging me to, to take that next step or why haven't you done it yet? And it was no different when I came to Citywide in, in 2010. I, I came to study and that was my, my focus, was to study and to come to church on a Sunday, um, but I just couldn't help it. <laughs> I couldn't couldn't help but uh, love what God was doing here at Citywide and, and wanted to be part of it. And, and again, um, a few years later at the Global Leadership Summit, uh, I felt God really tapping on my shoulder saying, come on, why aren't you stepping up? You can't hide. And uh, it was around exam time, so I, I definitely, there was a passion that grew and, and I was like, well, look, God, if, if this is from you, then um, I want to still have this passion when the exams are over because I thought if anything's going to kill um, conference passion, it's, it's an exam. Uh, but no, I still had it. I still was excited um, to to step up into leadership, to to see people uh, connect with who God is, to to see the transformation in people's lives. That's what I, I love seeing, and and I've um, loved being able to be part of that um, these last um, yeah few years. And I think one thing I've had to learn in that process is to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Um, I think when when you're in those times of, of weakness or uncomfort, that's when you see God's glory um, happen and, and he always uh, has your back and, and never lets you down. And so I've been um, very thankful over the last year um, for everyone's encouragement, really, in, in how I've been leading and, and stepping up into different responsibilities and um, taking different opportunities. And in all of it, it's just me wanting to do what, obey what God wants me to do and, and to be part of, of what he's, he's shaping and doing. And so, yeah, it's, it's with uh, mixed emotions today that I need to announce that uh, I've accepted a, a call to um, a senior pastor position at Newstead Baptist Church. Yeah. Thank you. It, it, was a, it was a long process um, and a, a process of discernment. Uh, it started uh, in light or in discussions of, of Matt's review of, of what i seen as... as uh, God shaping in my life and, and wanting to, to do. And uh, my response to that was, well, I just want to do God's will, whatever he has in store. And uh, so in order to do that, I, I asked uh, Stephen Baxter, you know, what's happening around the state. And um, Maria and Octavia were, were praying that um, God would reveal whether that's to continue here or to, to take a step in a different direction. And uh, he mentioned, yeah, have you considered uh, Newstead? Uh, they're looking for a pastor. Uh, we went through a process there and a couple of things that really helped us in that discernment period and, and I want to encourage anyone that that's, I guess feels there's a call on their heart or, or something they want to step into um, was asking other people to help discern in that process. I had um, an, an email come um, that's with the person not knowing at all what we were considering and, and saying, look, we've seen you grow. I think it's time that you considered a, pa a senior pastor position. And I was like, Marie and I found that <laughs> um, very well. Wow. And uh, at the same time, I, I reviewed a, a dream I had, um, which was about, a, in summary, a, a phone call and, and taking that call and being transported somewhere else. So it's, it's things like that that you know that God's kind of in. And, and then um, with discerning and asking people to uh, be in that process too. I mean, all, all along, um, yeah, we just wanted to do God's will in that. And we're thankful for the Kingdom Cell and the elders that have, have been with us in that uh, journey too. So... Thank you. I'm going to, uh, unless Marie, if you've got anything you want to share as well, but. Um. Not really, but um, just, yeah, that 
um, we're obviously going to miss you guys a lot. Um, you've been our family here. Um, but yeah, we're really at peace about this and that it's where God's leading us. Um, so yeah, we appreciate your prayers and your love as we uh, make this transition for our family. Yeah, we're not going anywhere just yet. Um, so it won't be till next year. So not getting uh, early next year, yes. So not be getting rid of us that quickly. Um, but um, we look forward to yeah, seeing what, spending that time together. Okay, so um, they aren't going yet, so we're gonna have we're gonna have plenty of farewells for them, so it's all good. So today is bittersweet. Obviously, the the sweetness is the fact that they have got a calling and they they're going to continue and listen to God, and and bitter in the fact that they are leaving us at the end of the year. So we're just going to pray for them now, myself and Anne, and then during the during the next six months. No, hang on, what are we up to? All? Three months, six, three, three, six. Yeah, um, we're going to um, have plenty of time to say farewells. Dear Heavenly Father, we just come before you right now and we bring you Dan, Maria and the family, Lord. And um, Lord, we're just so excited for them that they've accepted this call to Newstead, Lord. And we just pray that as they get ready to go, Lord, that they finish strong here, Lord, that we send them off with love and grace and also that sadness that comes with it, losing people who we love, Lord. But Lord, we just pray for Newstead and for Dan and the family as they go together and face new directions, Lord. There will be challenges, there will be there will be tough spots, but there will be fun, there will be joy, Lord. So just pray your Holy Spirit cover Dan and Marie and the family and Newstead Baptist and Citywide at this particular point in time, Lord. So we just pray your blessings on them and give them the peace and the love that only you can give at this particular point in time, Lord. Oh, Lord, you are an awesome God and you are here with us, Lord. We've just sung that you are over all. And we're so grateful that you are over all. We are so grateful that your plans are for good and for prospering for those who follow you, Lord. We just, at this moment, bring our mixed emotions. Like Dan and Maria, we all have um, mixed emotions. But we thank you that we have done the journey together and you are leading this church, Father. We thank you for the way that Dan has shared of his um, willingness to follow where you would lead and for Maria and the children too Lord we just are grateful for their for their ministry in this place we're so grateful that we've been able to share that journey with them over over almost 10 years I believe so Lord we just thank you thank you that you are overall thank you that you have plans for us Lord and even when we come to you with ideas about what that word prosper might look like sometimes your plans are actually often <laughs> different to what we think so we just pray that you'd forgive us when we expect a particular thing and help us to focus our eyes on you and trust you where we can't see we know that you can so we just pray for the next few months of that transition period for each one of us for here at citywide and for newstead in launceston as they prepare to um, receive this beautiful family lord we just pray for your blessing and we thank you that you are god over all in jesus name amen <laughs>